Hello? 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 You ready? Yeah. Hello? Yes. I can't see nothing. I can see you. So, I don't know. Maybe the same thing has happened to the other lady. We can see you, though, when you in the house. I can't see you, but what's up, though, Goddess? How you feel? I'm good. Are you single, love? Absolutely. Okay, what's your name, baby? Mega. Mega. Where are you calling us from? From Baltimore. Baltimore. Do you have any children? Yeah, I have one. One child. How old are yeah, you? Yeah, my daughter, she's 21. Have you ever been married? Uh, never. What you do for a living, Mega? I'm a multimedia specialist and a, a, a marijuana grower. Marijuana weed grower and a multimedia specialist? Yeah. Um, how old are you? I'm 40. 40. What's your zodiac sign? Pisces. He's the best. Okay. <laughs> you coming in high. Here we go. We got Mega Baltimore. 40 is a Pisces. Um, he is a marijuana grower, also a multimedia specialist, and dad to a 21 year old. What kind of woman are you looking for, boo? Um, shit, I wish it was that easy. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. Um, uh, conscious woman, uh, video gamer, need a gamer, a weed smoker, and a woman that's in cosplay. Like, you know, like dress up like video games and stuff like that. Like, I like, like fun. You know, a lot of women today don't have sense of humor, don't have no type of character. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and, uh, that's pretty much it though. So. Women who conscious, women who, you know, play video games, smoker. Just not the average one trick pony. You know what I'm saying, Kendra? It's a lot of one trick ponies out here. What is a, a one trick pony? One trick pony is like how all the women wear the same hairstyles. They all look the same. They all dress the same. And you got a lot of queens that are saying they queens, but they too close to the horse. And they dressing like the horse. So you can't tell the difference who the queens is because the queens dressing like the horse. And how I raised, how I was raised coming up, it was like, like the ugly women used to be the ones that showing that body. The, the beautiful women and shit, they keep that body, you know, closed up. They ain't, and that's not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying how I was, how how I was, how I came up. You feel me? <laughs> just okay, a little so bit a different. Not, you don't want an Instagram model then. No, like if you you on your page with blonde hair and you showing your body, that that's make that's telling me that you for sale. And I don't fuck with women like that, cause I already know that mindset is gonna be is gonna be low, like low level, low energy, low vibration type of conversations. I gotta stay away from those type of women. You feel me? Ooh, I mean, what's the other deal breakers besides low vibration? My other deal breakers is a snaggle mouth, like teeth all fucked up, uh, like like I said, unconscious, um. <laughs> Can't dress. You know, <laughs> I mean, you can have a good heart and all that. I'm, I'm, you know, what I'm saying it's just I'm more looking for like the character of a person, of a woman, more than you know materialistic stuff. Cause it's like I don't care if you got big ass and big titties. That shit don't mean nothing if you don't got nothing up here. You know what I'm saying? If you can't have a con a conversation. I'm good. I don't. I don't. I'm good. You feel me? Okay. So, do she gotta look a certain way? Um, I prefer dark skin because, you know, I love chocolate women, brown and dark chocolate. They just make me, you know, real thirsty. I mean, like, <laughs> as a, I mean, as a, as a young and always just always attracted to dark skin, black, beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? I love my black women, period, though. Okay. What about money? Should she make a certain amount of money? I mean, that's her preference. I mean, <laughs> she was already getting money before she met me, so... I mean, that's first law of human nature. Take care of self, right? Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, I do this. I, hey, that's what you're supposed to do. We all adults out this bitch. You feel me? But you don't care. Do you want a girl that makes maybe fifty thousand dollars, or would you want her to be like a girl that makes a hundred? That money, the money don't matter at the end of the day, though. Um, Kendra, it's all about like, cause I, I know people who have money and don't know how to money manage and always broke. And I know people who don't have a lot, but know how money's managed and always got money. So it's always the person and how they, how they know how to manage money and what they want to do. Fair enough. Okay. Now let's do the Kendra Kim. That's when you stand up, Mega. All right. We got to see your legs. 
Grazie, Ivan. Ok. We see you. Yeah, I ain't no fat boy or nothing like that. I'm, I'm nice. I'm, I'm cut up. You feel my workout? He's not, he's, he's not a fat boy. So, okay. All right, Mega. Mega, um, okay. When was your last relationship? Uh, my last relationship was uh, 2016. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, <laughs> Uh, and that's a, that's a no-go. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. Say it one more time, three, time down. Three flaws you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. Um, time. Because I'm always traveling. I do a lot of video editing work. Um, so I might, might be gone for a month, might be gone for two months. Um, you know, self-reliance. So pretty much at my own company since 2012. Um, pretty much time. Uh, he said that I can work on. Is that what you said, yeah. Kendra? Three things you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. Um, yeah, I'm going to say time. Um, just, just taking a woman serious for real. Because I, I see where they at. Because, you know, everybody be cool and nice for the first 60 to 90 days, and then they start, then their real character start coming out, and you start seeing who they really is. And then when you address certain people on their character or, you know, the shit that they doing, then they start getting mad when you start holding them accountable. Like, yo, like, you know, but um, I don't know. Like, I ain't saying I'm perfect, but I, I'm just laid, laid back for real. I just want, like, good conversation person that, that's, you know, well grown like the travel and enjoy shit at the end of the day. Do you want one at the end of the day, it's minute. about love, friendship. I, now, what I you got? You you, I cut you off. Do you want one woman that, um, you want to be in a committed relationship with one woman? Yeah, I don't have no, no problem being in a commitment relationship with one woman. That's no problem with me. Do you want to get married one day? Absolutely not. Everything is going to my daughter. Because women, you can, you can be in a committed relationship Love a woman to death, and then out the blue, I ain't in, I ain't in love with you no more. I don't want to do this no more. And you didn't put you know, didn't put time and energy and built how put living in a crib together. I need my own crib. I'm good. You can have your own crib, even if like I just can't do the marriage thing. Shit, phony. It's a piece of paper. You're not really getting married to the person. It's the corporation. It's just not. It's just not good for black men or men. Period. To get married for real. And it's, it's another thing, too, Kendra. It's nine million more women in America than it is men. And women don't understand that. And I know that y'all go through a lot. Y'all got to deal with these fuck niggas, these hobosexuals, the druggies, the niggas that's gay on the low, niggas that's looking at your kids. So women got a lot of fuck niggas they got to go through, too, just as much as black men got to go through a lot of fuck shit dealing with women, too. You feel me? Just accountability, man. Like I said, people just don't like accountability today. That's why they got Jesus and God and the devil. That's why they blame that <laughs> accountability on <off> for <laughs> Woo, child. Well, Matt God. He don't, what? I'm yeah, I'm not Malcolm X energy. I'm Malcolm X energy. Okay, well, I'm Matt black God. power energy over here. All right, listen, huh? I, I'm not going to debate you. I'm going to let you. I don't, just, I don't agree with a lot of things you said. I don't agree. Ultimately, I will say this. Marriage is not for everybody, so I do understand that. But there are some men who would disagree with your concept of marriage. Some men take pride in having a family, having their wife and their children, having their last name. You know, there's some men that that's an honor to them. But I do respect the fact that that's not what you want to do. Yeah, my daughter is 21. I already did, you know, it's time to enjoy life. I mean, we on bottle time anyway. I got... You know what I'm saying? What, 75 okay, is the age limit? Range you want to date? My age range is like 30 to 40. All right. Well, how can a woman, we got to go. How can a woman reach out to you, babe? Um, they, can, they can hit me up on the gram. Give it to them. Oh, yeah, mega, M-E-G-A underscore T-H-A underscore creator. Mega the creator. Okay, this is Matt Gay. He's in Baltimore. One child is 21. He grows weed for a living. Also a multimedia specialist. 40 years old, a Pisces. 
Who's Davis between 30 and 40? So the woman be in Baltimore. No, DMV. Okay. All right, one more time. Give them your IG. Uh, mega underscore the underscore creator. Is it the da or D-A? Yeah, uh, T-H-A. Spell it out for the people, Mega. <laughs> mega, M-E-G-A underscore T-H-A underscore creator. Okay. All right, well, Thank you, you Kendra. I love you, black woman. Thank you. Bye, 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 Mega.